Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited you are here and if you are new here, welcome. My name is Christy and I post lifestyle content here on YouTube. So today's video is a clean with me slash organization video of my daughter's room. Her room is a freaking mess, like literally a mess and I was needing to do this so bad and I took this weekend, this uh, three day weekend to really focus on, on her room and get it picked up and organized. Um, I'm sorry for the way I sound. I'm sick currently, but I really wanted to get this video up. So we're going to be picking up just all her toys that she has on the floor and putting them in her toy box. I don't really care how her toy, bo her toy box looks like inside because it has a lid, so nobody's going to see it, okay? Because she takes stuff out, so the I, will, I don't see the point in organizing inside the toy box because I know she's going to mess it up. And then I'm going to be just fixing up her little uh, stuffed animals. Does everybody's kids have this many stuffed animals? Like... This is a lot of stuffed animals. I never was a stuffed animal kind of kid So I think it's so funny that she has these many and she really plays with them and she loves them Which is cool and all but there's just everywhere all the time So now I'm going to be tackling her bookcase. It was a hot mess, okay? Her books usually look nice and neat, but she has a lot of little toys and puzzles that are just stuffed in there. So I bought this little like storage cube thing from the Dollar Tree and I decided I'm gonna put her puzzles in there and it would just make everything look a little bit cleaner and put together and I really it really made a difference so I just stuck all the puzzles in there and I did leave some of her little like Pez dispensers and little toys outside of the box like as displayed so if she wanted to grab them she can but uh does anybody else's kid collect these because my kid collects everything I'm just like girl just pick one thing she just loves to have these little trinkets I don't know so now I'm going to be hitting the closet. The closet was disgusting, okay? I this this room is small so I couldn't put a dresser. So I have these little brown bins that I put like her undies and her socks in and then the other one I put her pajamas in. So I'm just like going through them and like just organizing them and also getting rid of things that just she doesn't need I feel like I haven't done this and she was in between sizes for a while um, she was in between a three and a four and all of a sudden she doesn't fit in threes or fours so I gotta be I gotta buy her some fives um, so I'm just gonna be wiping stuff down in these bins I put all her hair accessories and stuff so um, I went through them I just didn't get it on camera and then I just put them back where they go and this, these are the storage bins that I'm talking about that I bought at the Dollar Tree. They worked so well. I just need to buy labels to like put on them. But they worked for well for what I wanted to use. They're not super sturdy. I feel like the ones that you pay more for are a lot sturdier. But these worked well for what I needed them. Um, so I'm going to put her, I put all her shorts in one. And then on the other one, I put pants and leggings. And I just folded them nice and neatly in there. And again, I went through all of her clothes and I'm gonna donate or um, give away some of her clothes that didn't fit prior that are in really good condition. Cause really she's not, I feel like she didn't wear these clothes a lot. I don't know. I feel like kids tend to do that. They just grow out of their clothes like randomly and you're like, I just bought this for you like yesterday, okay? But I was so happy with the way this little area turned out. It made my heart happy to see it all cleaned out and put together. So now I'm going to go through her shoes. I bought this little like bin pink little basket thing um, from Walmart and I love it for her shoes because she can reach it and she can just grab them and they don't have to be like super organized in there. I can just like kind of throw them in there. Um, I had to go through her shoes too because apparently she had a bunch of shoes in there that didn't even fit her. Um, so I was so happy to do this because then I could like really see what she has, what she needs 
she don't need shoes okay she has a bunch of shoes but um shoes are my weakness i just love getting shoes for myself and for her i think shoes are so cute so i'm going through this little like um cloth bin thing that i have under her clothes in there i put stuff that um i'm saving for her as she for her to grow into shoes that i got from a friend that they won't fit her yet but will fit her soon i like to stick them in there also i put stuff in there that i'm just keeping because they're sentimental to me like they don't fit her but i'm not gonna give them away <laughs> so that's the stuff i put in there and then also her swimsuits and her swimsuit covers i put in there because right now i don't need them out so i just stick them in there and i slide them under her clothes like the stuff that's hanging and it just makes everything more neat and clean and i have a designated area for those items um instead of like putting them in boxes and stuff i can have them there and they're visible to me i can see the things i have um, that will, she'll grow into also I like to put her games these are games that she loves I have a video on, on these board games that are specific for preschoolers that are just so much fun and I will link that video here on the screen and also in my description so now I'm gonna go and through her like clothes that I hang up I hang up all her shirts and her dresses and I have them like short sleeve um, to long sleeve so that's what my process of organization is here I just um, put the shorter sleeves in the front and then longer sleeves in the back and then I hang her dresses and her like coats and scarves and her little jackets and then as you can see on the side I hang her hats up there I just use thumbtacks and then um, kind of hang the hat like use the thumbtack as a hook to hang her hats and I love the way it turned out so now I'm gonna hit her bed. Listen, I have been wanting to have like this like uh, pattern or plaid pink comforter for her and I couldn't find like an affordable one. So my sister went to Ikea and Ikea is three hours from us. But when she went, I was looking at the Ikea site so I can like write her a list of things to get me. And I found this uh, duvet cover from Ikea and I love it the quality is great I'm just gonna use her comforter and like stick it in there but it looks so nice and it feels really nice and I just love the way it looks on her bed I don't know I'm, I'm obsessed with this print in any color like give me it in blue in black in gray any color I just love the look of it it just looks the pink looks so girly and like I don't know vintagey I don't know if that even makes sense but I love the way it looks in her room So my method for putting the duvet cover over my comforter was uh, turning it inside out and usually they have ties on the corners. This one had some extra string that I tied but not all the corners had it so I don't know if it was on purpose or if they just left it like that. I don't know but um, I just tied the extra string like thread that it had on the corner and I like rolled it up and then I just like like flipped it inside out basically and it worked out there is some videos of the burrito method on youtube that is super simple and i've used that method as well but i just couldn't remember how to do it um but i just flipping it inside out and grabbing each corner worked i don't think this the method that i'm doing right now would work with like a king size or a queen i think that's too big this is a smaller cover but I'll link the YouTube video that I'm talking about. I didn't make the YouTube video. I don't know the person that made it, but I'll link it. I feel like it was like one of those eHow channels or something. Uh, but I will put it in the description so you can see the burrito method of how to do it. But overall, I love, 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 love this comforter on here. The duvet cover, I mean. It looks so cute. I just love the way it looks. So this is the completed clean room and organized room i hope you enjoyed this video i hope i motivated you to get up and cleaning and organizing and i'm so happy that you clicked on my video and if you haven't already clicked that red subscribe button and give my video a thumbs up we would love to have you part of the has fam i will catch you guys in the next video Bye bye